<laughs> hey there everybody <clears throat> okay so been having a good time lately um took the intrepid which is this guy here up to cove oregon and uh, did a little photography so i cleared out my film holders so now i've got all six film holders we'll get to that in a second all six of my film holders are empty and ready for color film, which is exciting. And uh, that's what I wanted to do. Um, but I also wanted, you know, anytime you can get out with your camera, um, particularly with film, is, you know, if it's not great photography, it's great practice. And you learn every time, every time I go out, I learn something. I've been doing this for a long time. But I've got uh, Fuji Velvia 50 and E100, and I'm going to put uh, probably um, three film holders each, so six sheets of each. So six and six is 12. I've got six film holders, so that's the plan there. Uh, for a lab to send my color film, which I haven't had to decide on yet, but I think it's going to be a North Coast photo down in San Diego comes highly recommended and the prices seem decent and etc cetera, etc cetera. so I'm gonna give them a shot um, so as you can tell by the intro and um, some b-roll which I'll roll in here I uh, did this scene hold up the photo and I got the photo what was really interesting about this is um, so in large format, there's um, there's your typical ground glass on the back of the screen, you know, the what you focus on. And the Intrepid comes with a standard ground glass, and it's marked for to help you with composition. Although those markings are optimistic because unless you're in bright sunlight with a you know with an f 6.8 lens like my 90, or uh, my two my 210, which is an f 6.8 lens, um, the ground glass is dark. All right, and particularly for this scene here, um, I was basically guessing. Like I could kind of see the image in the middle and I kind of could, you know, guess where my focus was. Um, so I kind of, I mean, it was a total guess. As far as composition was concerned, that, that wasn't happening. I mean, I knew the scene was there and I kind of got the middle where I want it, and I hope the edges fall, fell in the right place. Um, it turned out okay, which is interesting. I'll roll it in so you can actually see it without looking at this print. Um, so what I did when I came back immediately, I took another shot um, with the 210, and that didn't work out because the far focus was really out. It's still an interesting shot. I haven't scanned it, but it's nothing, you know, it's a learning shot, right? A teachable moment. But the first thing I did when I came home is I went up to Intrepid and I, there's a thing called a fr Fresnel lens or a Fresnel screen that goes on top of the ground glass and it makes it brighter. Now my Zone 6 actually has one and the Zone 6 is noticeably brighter. So um, I'm hoping that the Intrepid, um, the uh, Fresnel uh, screen for the Intrepid will help with that. And so um, that's pretty much what I've been up to and it was fun to get out it was fun to shoot some film and uh, I'm definitely going to go back up there it's a beautiful little place um, on the side of a logging road kind of um, it's one of those back forest trail roads that we have around here they're pretty remote I mean everything around where I live is really remote um, I've been watching I think his name's Matt Maresh and uh, he goes in Ohio, he goes to some of these parks, and it's kind of funny, um, I have to laugh, because he goes to a park, and there's not too many people, I mean, there's nobody around that I can see when he's there, he's probably there during a weekday, but um, there's these, like, uh, concrete bridges and installed metal benches and things, <laughs> and it's like, where I live, man, there's not even any trails, I mean, there's trails, but, I mean, they're, they're one step removed from a deer trail. So, which I, you know, I'm not complaining. I think that's a great thing. Um, 
but uh, but it's not as easily accessible as it is some other places. When you go to national parks and things like that, I mean, the trails are clearly marked. You know, where I live, it's just like, you know, the trails are there to facilitate the deer hunters in this fall, which is fine. I mean, you know. So anyway, um, yeah, great stuff. Uh, lots of fun, and I'm glad I got out and did that. Uh, got some things brewing, as usual. Uh, got all my chemicals to mix up my D76 and my D72 Dectol and and uh, some uh, fixer and stuff. But uh, definitely getting the color film going, and that's going to be interesting. So, um, yeah. So that's where we're at, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Bye. So there's my scene. I took a reading on a highlight and a, my darkest shadow. And I averaged it, and I came up with two and a half seconds at F32. So two and a half seconds at F32. And now I'm going to take the shot. But all I've got is this handheld thing. <laughs> so I have to put you down on the ground. everything calmed down.